But business networking skills are for life, they're not just for breakfast. And that's what I'm here to talk about. If you could laugh at the proper jokes, that would be fantastic <laughs> as well, along the way. Um, <laughs> one of the things that I fell in love with about business networking along the way was that this stuff that I could learn in a really safe environment, whether it was for networking or BNI or other networking events, this stuff I could actually use in real life. Messy hair networking tip from in the car. What if you paid as much attention and put as much effort into every relationship as you do to the ones which you think can lead you somewhere, to the people who you feel are important? What if you talked to everyone at a networking event rather than just try and get to the guy at the back who you think is an influencer? I see people wasting so much time trying to get to the right people that they miss huge opportunities with the person right in front of them. So the networking tip for this morning is actually a question. Why doesn't networking work for some people? Or more specifically, why isn't it working for you? Pop your answer in the comments and I'll do a video to see if I can help. I was driving here last night and thinking, why do I still go to two or three networking events every single week? Every big opportunity starts with a little conversation. One of the huge benefits of today for, for me and for you guys is that I get this chance to start so many conversations with, with new people as well as catching up with people that I've known for years. Someone sent me an email the other day and said they do a load of networking events and they always follow up with people but they never ever get a response and it doesn't work for them. And I asked them to show me how they were follow up, following up with people afterwards and they sent me a copy of an email that they were using. And it basically said, it was lovely to meet you this morning, David. Now, here is 800 words in an email about what I do and what you should buy from me. How many of you read emails like that if you receive them? And how many of you click immediately on delete? Um, that's, that's like networking. Like, yep. You know, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was going to, I was going to hit record, but then I realized you were in your gym stuff. We can, no, we can mind. Yeah. actually, okay. I've got, I've got record so you, going. You are this. recording. Yeah. Okay. I've got yeah, record so anyway. going. I'll upload. Um, yeah. So it's like networking, sorry. Yeah, it's like networking. You know, it, it's like people go two or three times and and don't see a result and decide that it, it's not working. And uh, by the same token, I, I didn't post photos of me losing weight in the first few weeks of me doing it. I've I've posted photos. Now I've been doing it for just over three months and have hit a significant milestone um so yeah february march april and now whatever we are yeah a third Fifth away from May. Oh, you're that's away when from i'm May. sharing my progress because there's pro Jeez. there was progress every single day but it's the cumulative progress over the last three and a half months that that people can actually see same with networking I've been going networking for 15 years that now. That's why my results are, are different to other people's. It's the cumulative result. So I'm making sales to people who, I've, who I'm meeting for the first time, but I'm also making sales to people who I've met for 15 years. So, and, and, and that is exponential, cumulative, whatever is the right word. Let me tell you what I fell in love with about networking. I've done about 1,500 networking events, about 400 speaking events, about 50 virtual speaking events in any other sales event, in any other sales opportunity, sales environment. I always got told that you just get one chance to make an impression. But what I've fallen in love with about this is that this was somewhere where I got a second chance or even these days a 1,500th chance to make an impression.